I know that there's a lot of people who just clicked on this video who think whenever they die, they're going straight to heaven. They prayed the prayer whenever they were seven years old. Maybe they go to church every single Sunday. At the same time, they live their life no different than the rest of the world. They're addicted to pornography. They're going out and getting drunk every single weekend. They're still fornicating with their girlfriend. And I think there's a lot of Christians out there who are deceived. So the point of this video is to know without a shadow of a doubt if you're saved and if you're going to heaven whenever you die. So I highly encourage that you watch this video all the way to the end. I was talking to a buddy at, at dinner the other night. He works for the University of Alabama, and he basically goes out and evangelizes inside of different fraternities. So go to a fraternity house, get plugged in, start evangelizing their guys, trying to bring them to Jesus, trying to get them to repent of their sins. Basically just bring them to Christ. He was talking to me about how once he's built a certain level of rapport or trust, within a relationship with the guy. And he can tell that the guy's not truly living it out, like he's still getting drunk or he's addicted to a bunch of stuff or he's fornicating with his girlfriend or whatever. He calls it out in a very interesting way. What he'll do is he will sit there with the guy and he'll say, hey buddy, do you know who LeBron James is? Of course, the guy's gonna say yes. And what this guy does is he starts a timer for 10 minutes and he's like, I want you to list every single fact that you know about LeBron James go. And the guy will just sit there and like, oh, he played for the Cavs and he's from Akron, Ohio and he won a championship with the Heat. And that dude will go for a full 10 minutes. He'll list every single fact in the book. He knows a ton about LeBron James. At the end of that 10 minutes, this guy will look at him and say, you really know a lot about LeBron. And the guy will be like, yeah, dude, I, I know a lot about LeBron. Like I'm a big sports guy. Your relationship with LeBron is, is a lot like your relationship with Jesus. You know a lot about him, but you don't actually know him. Yeah, bro, like I know you, you go to church and you, you pray the prayer and you read your Bible every day and you do all the stuff. I don't really see real evidence that you're born again and that you're actually a believer. Call him out and hold him accountable. Like, hey man, like this walk is not easy. The Bible calls us to walk the narrow path, not the broad path. The broad path leads to destruction. And in the same light, I know that there's a lot of people watching this video right now who know of Jesus, but they don't actually know him. They're living a life addicted to porn, going to the bars every weekend, getting drunk, playing video games all day. They're slothful, they're lazy, they're smoking weed. Like they have all the head knowledge. They know all the stories about Jesus. They could tell you exactly where in the Bible this happened and the story of Jonah and all this crap, but they don't have a heart change. They're not actually born again believers. There's a part in the Bible where Jesus is talking to Nicodemus. He's a Pharisee and Nicodemus asks him, what do I need to do to be able to inherit the kingdom of heaven? And Jesus looks at him and says, in order to inherit the kingdom of heaven, you must be born again. Now you may be asking yourself, what does it mean to be born again? Like he keeps saying that, what does that even mean? The Bible says in Galatians 2.20 that it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life that I now live, I live by faith in the Son of God who died and gave himself up for me. This means the Bible calls us to die to ourself. The old way that you used to live of fornicating and being addicted to porn and going out to the bar and getting drunk and hating other people, that version of yourself needs to die. You need to be born again and have the Holy Spirit come inside of you and start to change the desires of your heart so that you change your actions and start living your life according to the Bible. It's not enough to just say you love Jesus or you know a lot about him and you know all the stories. There's another part in the Bible where people come to Jesus in Matthew chapter seven and they say, Lord, Lord, we, we did all these things in your name. Like we casted out demons. We prophesied in your name. We did all this stuff and we think that we deserve to get into heaven. And Jesus is going to look at him and say, depart from me for I never knew you. Why do you think he's telling him? That. It's because they didn't actually know Jesus. They just knew of Jesus. Jesus did not go through one of the most brutal and agonizing deaths that have ever been recorded in human history so that you could continue to live your life in complete disobedience and willful, unrepentant sin. The Bible says in Romans chapter 6, verse 23, that the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Jesus died on the cross to set us free from sin and death not so we could continue to live in it. First Peter chapter two, verse 24 says, and he himself bore our sins in his body on the cross so that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. For by his wounds, you were healed. If the pastor in your church is telling you, hey buddy, you can just come up here and pray this prayer and all your sins are gonna be forgiven for the rest of your life. You can just continue to live your life no different than before you prayed this prayer. Continue to watch the porn, continue to do whatever you want. You're good. Jesus paid it all, brother. That dude is lying to you. That doctrine is called easy believism or free grace doctrine, and it's heretical. It's total BS. 
That doctrine is sending billions of people to hell. Google says that there's approximately 2.4 billion Christians in this world. Like, do you honestly believe that all those people are going to heaven? Don't you think if that fact was actually true, our world would be a better place? In this next verse that I'm about to tell you, I want you to memorize. This is in Matthew chapter 7, verses 13 and 14. Enter through the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the way is broad that leads to destruction. And there are many who will enter through it. For the gate is narrow and the way is constricted that leads to life, and there are few who will find it. You need to realize that coming in contact with the Jesus of the Bible is like coming into contact with a Category 5 hurricane. So if your life before and after coming in contact with Jesus is exactly the same, you, my friend, have not come in contact with the real Jesus. Romans chapter 12, verse 2 says, And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, so that you may prove what the will of God is, that which is good and acceptable and perfect. Now, I do not make this video to throw you down and to tell you that you're going to hell. That's definitely not the point of this video, but I am challenging you to figure out if the Jesus that you believe and the Jesus that you're following is the Jesus of the Bible. Also realize that, that all the sin and doing whatever you want and continuing to be addicted to porn and having sex with your girlfriend and getting drunk and doing whatever, all that stuff is never gonna fulfill you. I lived decades of my life addicted to porn, getting drunk, having sex with as many girls as I possibly could, drinking as much as I could, going to the bars, hooking up with random girls, doing all the crap that the world told me was going to fulfill me and all it did was dig me deeper and deeper into a depressive state where I was borderline like I wouldn't say suicidal but but I hated my life I had no real friends I just had buddies who go out with me to the bar nobody who actually cared about me and every single day whenever I laid my head down to sleep I knew that if I died I was going to hell I knew I wasn't living my life for Jesus I was raised Catholic I knew of Jesus I knew all the stories but I didn't know Jesus. And that's a terrifying thought to not know where you're gonna end up whenever you die. If you're living the same life that I used to live, I challenge you right now to repent, to get on your knees after this video and, and to beg God for forgiveness and to ask him to make you born again. The best way to live is to know that you're walking in accordance with God's will. And the only way to know what God's will is, is if you actually know what the Bible says and you're following Jesus' commands. The Bible calls us to be a follower of Christ, an ambassador for Christ. The Bible calls you to represent Jesus. And if you're living your life no different than the rest of the world, you're not a good representation of Christ. Obviously, we're all gonna fall short. The Bible says that if a man says that he's without sin, the truth is not in him. It also says that even a righteous man falls seven times a day, so you're not gonna be perfect, but you can still live life doing the best that you possibly can. And that's exactly what the Bible calls us to do. If the words that I'm speaking to you right now are resonating with you, and you do wanna grow deeper in your relationship with God, I want you to click the top link in the description and join our free Christian Discord. Surround yourself with strong men of God who can build you up, the Bible says, says in Proverbs chapter 27, verse 17, that iron sharpens iron. So if you want to grow deeper in your faith and grow as a man of God, you need to surround yourself with other believers who are on the same exact path that you're on. So click the top link in the description, and I and all the guys in there are going to look forward to welcoming you in whenever you join. If you want to learn more about how to grow in your faith and to go deeper in your relationship with God, go ahead and click on this video and watch the full video all the way till the end. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I hope that you learned something. I hope that this video impacted you and that your life will never be the same after watching this video. I hope that God blesses you and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.